This episode of Zoocademy is brought to you by T-Mobile, who wish to inspire success while connecting our community to the wonders of wildlife. Welcome to another edition of Zoo Academy. I'm Ron McGill. On today's edition, we're going to talk about physical adaptations. In other words, physical things you can see in an animal that help them adapt to their environment. One of the things you see, first of all, on many animals are their teeth. Different teeth will tell you what animals eat. For instance, lions, which are carnivores. Here's a lion's skull, and a lion's skull has these large canine teeth to grab their prey, and then has these special carnasal teeth in the back so that they can cut their prey, they can chew their meat. Other animal adaptations are, for instance, the giraffe. The giraffe has a very long neck adapted to reach high into the trees. In addition, it has a very long tongue that's actually blue in color to protect it against sunburn when exposing it to grab those leaves up in the tree. But one of the animals that probably is the greatest example of physical adaptations is the camel. Here's an animal that's totally well adapted to live out in the desert, not only in extreme heat, but in extreme cold. First of all, you have the hump of a camel. Many people think it stores water, but in fact, it stores fat. The camel is one of the few animals in the world that can lose up to 40% of its body weight in the desert and still survive living off of that fat on its hump. Another specialized trait are its feet. It has wide open flat feet so it can walk on the desert sand without sinking in. It's kind of like snowshoes, except they're sand shoes. Also, the camel is able to seal his nostrils, seal his, uh, his ears, and close his eyes with special eyelashes so that when the sand is blowing, it doesn't go in. So here we have an animal that's really, really well adapted to living in that desert life. So when it's very, very hot during the summer months, it can shed its coat down to nearly nothing. But in the cold winter months or in the cold, it can build a very thick coat, which helps protect it from those frigid temperatures. So animal adaptations physically are very interesting. Another good example would be tortoises that have shells to protect them. Another special adaptation is the black rhino, which has a pointy lip that it uses like a finger to bring in its food. Porcupines that have quills to protect them also. These are all physical adaptations to help them better survive in their environment. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Zoocademy. <laughs>